Hi guys, um, day 12 today, um, yeah, really still kind of struggling a bit, unfortunately, um, but like I said yesterday, I had, um, I had some therapy today with my therapist, and, uh, we kind of went over some stuff that was quite difficult today, um, which is good in a way, because it means I'm actually starting to process things, but it's bad short term because it kind of drags up a lot of bad stuff basically in your mind um and we kind of came like he asked me it's at one point in my session today what the most what i felt was the most consistent thing that i'd ever had in my life and the first thing that came to my mind and came out was depression that that's the thing that's been there <coughs> that's never kind of gone away really is the more I think about it the more I realize that you know I've always struggled with it you know from my very earliest memories um you know feeling kind of different and like I didn't fit in with everyone around me and that there was something wrong with me you know I, I had those feelings quite early on in my life and yeah so in a funny kind of way it's it's part of me i suppose um and it has been you know in every you know my therapist talked me through it today he said like it's basically pervaded every aspect of my life from you know from my family relationships to my friendships to my marriage to my job to i mean every single aspect my personality it's all kind of tied together with this kind of depressed state that I go into on a regular basis and in a funny kind of way I'm it's like a part of me is scared to not be depressed anymore because it's it's become such a a defining aspect of me as a person that I don't know who I'd be without it you know so that's kind of what we covered today just who I am like what kind of person would I be if I if I do get over this depression and I get on top of it am I ready for that I don't know um I suppose in a funny kind of way it's almost like I'm in some sort of codependent relationship you know I feel like I don't want it in my life but I can't live without it the sound might might sound crazy, but I am crazy. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, unfortunately, we got to that revelation towards the end of the session, which I thought only happened in movies, where you kind of like get to the end and some massive revelation comes out, and you're like, "Oh, I've got to wait a week till the next time." But that's exactly what happened today. So I've got to wait a week before I get any kind of further progress, other than what I make myself. And generally, when I'm left to my own devices. I do tend to overthink things and I tend to and I view everything through a lens of kind of depression so everything's kind of bad to me I need kind of outside influences to tell me you know you know sort yourself out you're being an idiot you're being stupid you're being dramatic um but yeah I found it really interesting today the session didn't really help me with my current feelings of being quite low but it has given me something to think about and we're kind of gonna from now on we're gonna approach our therapy in respect of how can I view my depression as a separate part of me rather than as a integral part of me because I think as long as I do that I'm gonna be I'm gonna find it really difficult to let go um, yeah it's it's bad because I know it's wrong it's bad for me to feel this way but it's like the only thing that's ever kind of always been there for me I've always it's like it's reliable which sounds really really morbid but there you go I'm looking forward to working on kind of separating myself from my depression rather than viewing myself as a whole if that's even possible I don't know um but yeah um, I just thought I'd do a quick video today just to talk about that really I don't know if other people who suffer from depression feel the same way um, that it's kind of an integral part of them because I think it is for me I think um, 
it definitely affects my personality and I know that growing up I had this feeling of not fitting in and not belonging and I would I wanted to belong <coughs> excuse me I wanted to belong I wanted to fit in so I was always trying to find ways to do that and one of the ways I did do that was I found out pretty early on that making people laugh is normally a good thing to to be able to do and you know it makes you feel good it makes them feel good it makes everyone feel good and I think that a big part of my personality is based around that you know that I want to make people laugh and I want to be funny and a comedian and even in my darkest times I've always found some kind of morbid humor to be found in any of the situations I've been in and that's a direct result of my depression it's kind of forced me to be the funny guy so that I can fit in with the people around me rather than you know being a depressed wreck who can't get out of bed <clears throat> so in some respects you know it feels almost like I owe d depression because I wouldn't be who I am without it it kind of it does define me and I want to yeah I want to try and work on on making it less defining so that it's still part I guess it's still part of my life but it's not going to define me going forward but yeah I just thought I'd do a quick video today uh, quick but I rambled on for like seven minutes so I'm going to leave it there for now um yeah I'll catch you guys tomorrow take care of yourselves I hope you're doing okay